Madam President. Senator from California. Thank you. I understand uh, Senator Carper has already called up Amendment 2133. Two, the Senator is correct. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, and thank you for the opportunity to speak on uh, this important bipartisan amendment. And I want to thank Senators Langford, Moran, Rounds, Schatz, Feinstein, and Smith for joining me in this effort. Uh, Madam President, tribal communities face grave and unjust disparities in access to all kinds of infrastructure. But the disparities in access to health care and health infrastructure are increasingly stark. This amendment is very simple. It's common sense, in my opinion. It's a technical fix that would allow urban Indian organizations to use the Indian Health Service funds that they already receive for infrastructure and facilities improvements. So I want to be clear, this amendment would not give urban Indian organizations more funding or take away funding from anybody else. It would simply give them additional flexibility to use the funding they already receive for necessary infrastructure improvements. Urban Indian organizations provide culturally competent care for over 70% of American Indians and Alaska Natives who live in urban centers. Many of those served in, uh, many of those served live in low income, medically underserved areas. According to recent congressional testimony from the Indian Health Service, and I quote, expanding the current authority to be consistent with the authority for other government contractors would allow urban Indian organizations to make renovations, construction, or expansion of facilities necessary to improve the safety and quality of care provided to urban Indian patients." End quote. In fact, the Deputy Director of the Indian Health Service went on to state, quote, providing urban Indian organizations with broader authority to improve their healthcare facilities will assist in providing the high quality, safe, and culturally relevant healthcare for the urban Indian population." End quote. This amendment, I believe, is particularly re relevant in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, when items like ventilation, along with social distancing and other infrastructure upgrades, are desperately needed. This is an easy, no-cost, bipartisan way to help ensure that this package bolsters infrastructure in Indian country, because no infrastructure package would be complete without robust strategic improvements to tribal infrastructure. It has the support of the chairman and ranking member of the Indian Affairs Committee, which just held a hearing on this issue last month, and I urge my colleagues to support it. Thank you, Madam President. I yield the floor.